All right, welcome to another episode from the Chart Readers. We are continuing our weed sector review. We're gonna do three stocks on this one. We're gonna do OGI, Hexo, and MSOS. Man, there is a lot of bad going on here, right? But again, if you follow these rules, obviously not financial advice, but if you follow these rules, so much of this could have been avoided. You know what I mean? So before we go deeper in the details real quick, what are we gonna do? Same thing we always do, right? We'll take a look at the daily and the weekly to see how things are setting up. We have our five moving averages the horizontal support and resistance lines I do draw manually myself. And then when we're done up here, we'll use the MACD, RSI, and volume as our lower indicators. Hey, really quickly, if you can please like and subscribe, it does really well with the YouTube algorithms. Even if you don't, thank you so much for watching these, okay? And then if you disagree with anything, please throw it in the comments, okay? I am not here pretending to be perfect and all knowing, I'm just, I'm giving you my thoughts based on the lines, all right? So let's get to it, look. First and foremost, it's not a major one, but look, good things happen over the eight, and man, this is where it's ugly. Bad things definitely happen under the eight, right? Little moment right here, and we talked about on the last video where it looked like it wanted to get over, but clearly no, and I mean, last week, it was just a brutal, brutal four-day week, right? Obviously a short week because of the US holiday, but man, just again, bad things happen under the eight. It looks like the 20 still wants to go down, Look, this is a super, super low RSI, okay? And if I back up, where were we before? Look, we were in the sevens, the eights, the nines, and then, hey, we did get to make a good run up. Are we going to see that same thing here? I mean, you know, maybe. That, that's definitely a very, very beat up RSI, right? The question just ultimately will be how many of the lines can we break? You know, maybe we'll break one. Again, taking the RSI from like a eight to, look, it actually got as high as like 70-ish, right? Yeah, it looks like it. 79, actually. It actually got to the 80 range. Interesting. Um, but, you know, yeah, I, I just, I don't see it getting over this. You know what I mean? Maybe one line, maybe if the 20 is able to get a little lower, but yeah, that 50, I think is going to be maybe the furthest this thing goes up. But yeah, look again, an eight RSI, this thing was literally at the eights before it made a good little run to 80, right? So that's at least put, put uh, sorry, that's at least worth putting on your radar, but just real bad MACD, definitely in the negative and a whole mess of under, definitely a very downward sloped RSI and just real bad volume, right? Weekly, man, look at that weekly. All we are doing is trading under the eight and the 20. That's all the thing knows how to do. Definitely do not want to lose those two lines. I'm glad we've only touched one of the two, but we talked about it. It will be quick falls if we lose those lines. So the last thing we want to do is lose them, right? But yeah, overall, a lot of reason to be, you know, definitely pessimistic here, OGI. But yeah, watch that RSI bounce. That might be worth a play there. Not hexy, hexo. Sorry about that. Okay, so look, hexo's been an interesting little chart here, okay? Monster candle, break three lines bad confirmation, monster candle, bad confirmation, monster candle, are we gonna get the confirmation? That's what's been bothering me with this thing, right? There's been moments it wants to run, but you know, it's just not doing it. And look, we're very much close to the top of the gap, right? There's at least still, I guess, this you can say, but the, the 100 is definitely right here, right? And it's been a good while, I think. Yeah, very good while, actually. Look at that. Very, very long time. I'm not even going to go back more. But yeah, the hundred's no joke, right? So are we going to get over the hundred? I don't know, right? But I can see a little bit of that maybe being the reason why it hasn't been so um, confirmy. I know that's not a good word, right? But yeah, again, good candle, bad candles. Good candle, bad candle. Good candle, let's see what happens. There's, there's not much more I can say. And again, I, I just... I don't know if it's gonna break the hundred. You know what I mean? Like I'm just, I'm. I most of the wheat sector isn't looking good. I know this is definitely a nice chart. It's got a good uptrend. I mean, there's there's definitely some pot. Let's see what the weekly looks like before I finish my my. You know what I mean? Like this ain't that bad actually. This is a pretty good weekly chart. And look at that. We're actually higher than all. Okay, I'll take that back. But look again. Are we gonna get over that 192? When was the last time we were over? Man. Interesting. All right, look, I got to imagine this is roughly where the 100 is, 191, 
where are, sorry to zoom out so many times. Yeah, look at that, 196, right? So that just under $2 range is gonna be a pretty big test, okay? So expect some noise, but honestly, if $2 breaks, it could be actually pretty interesting. Um, there's, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna set an alert because again, you see the 200s right there, that's, a, that's definitely a decent 20% uh, move. I'll create the alert exactly at two, actually. I'd be really curious if it happens. Um, I'm not going to set this alert. Again, your call, just depending on what you wanna do, but yeah, things will get really better here if we can close over 175, right? 176 will be good, because then we'll clear this and hopefully just make our way to this and this, right? So. Um, Hexo, again, that's a good weekly. I'll at least end it here on the Hexo thoughts. I like how many weeks we're over the eight. I love that we actually closed above every single thing right here. Um, yeah, um, that's a decent MACD. It's obviously not um, zero, right? It's still a little bit negative, but green over red, a little bit of green over red, that's decent volume. Yeah, good job, Hexo, on the weekly at least. And then MSOS. Super, super disappointing. So let me zoom out when I say super disappointing. So I uh, zoomed out too much. The goal really, I gotta show this, sorry. The goal really was to just eat up all those reds, right? And the one thing stopping us, really the two things stopping us were the 50 moving average and this line. And literally, the four day week was nothing more than a hard rejection instead of a hard confirmation. Extremely, extremely disappointing. You know what I mean? Just horrible volume, real bad MACD. Definitely not, I'm sorry, real bad RSI. Definitely not a bad MACD, but look, it was so up, 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 and now it definitely looks like it's about to go back down, right? And where are we? We're under all five moving averages. Man, this was so sad. Again, this is still the money line. If you can break 726, that should be a nice climb pretty high up to almost 13, right? Um, but yeah, nothing matters until it breaks it, right? I'll go ahead and set the alert one more time here. Um, no, not I, I don't like doing it on the line. It's, it does weird things on my phone. Um, I will put that at 26. Let me know when we get over that. Um, but yeah, super, super disappointing. But look, that's part of technical analysis, right? We take the hope away. We take the like, ah oh, man away. Because look, you either break that point and fly or you fail it and die, right? I mean, it's a it's a little rhyme that I like to say. And yeah, it's, it, it is true. You know what I mean? So just really disappointing. I was looking at this one. I'll be real honest with you. I wanted that to break. I wanted to put a good amount of money in. And literally, like I said, maybe write it to 13 if it was there at least to nine hopefully a little past nine if that broke right so um yeah right there was there was definitely a lot of excitement that just definitely failed out right again look a little bit of the hexo can uh, of the of the hexo pattern but hexo is definitely a way better chart i'm not trying to compare them but look good bad good bad i don't like that right give me good good and let's keep going right so um, definitely, it's, it's, it's important to get the confirmation. I say it often and, and hopefully this video showed it. So um, a little stuffy, I'm not, I don't think I'm sick here, but yeah, hopefully it wasn't too, too bad. Um, hope you're learning, have a great one.